This is the Star News Brief. I'm Susan Kiprono. The government has established a 2 billion shillings national drought emergency fund to help the National Drought Management Authority respond to emergencies arising from prolonged dry spells. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Okuriatani said the fund will be financed through the annual appropriations by the National Assembly. It will also be a common basket for contributions from the private sector, donor support, global climate change and disaster risk financing facilities. Yatani said the common basket will help facilitate faster, transparent, predictable and accountable release of funds for drought risk management. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. A day after the bodies of Charity Chaboy and her son Alan Kipnetich and that of Catholic priest Kevin Kipkoech were found in government quarters on Nairobi's Jogo Road on February 23rd, a team of detectives arrived at the scene armed with simulation equipment. Their main agenda was to reconstruct the crime scene to help them understand what might have happened. And days later they concluded the case declaring it murder and suicide and hence closed for now. That is the new norm to enable them to solve every crime committed scientifically where possible. Five more ablution blocks will be constructed in Kibera as the national government intensifies efforts to improve sanitation and water provision. This will also help eradicate the famous flying toilets that have been a menace and a threat to the general hygiene of the informal settlement. Already, the Athi Water Works Development Agency has constructed 15 ablution blocks in Kibera, with residents now having a more hygienic way to dispose of solid waste. The ablution blocks are also connected to sewer lines. This is part of the 1.6 billion shillings Nairobi City Regeneration Program that is aimed at improving the quality of water, increase access to sanitation facilities and reclaim the riparian ecosystem of rivers. North Rift farmers have asked the government to restrict maize imports from Uganda and Tanzania so that an anticipated good harvest finds a ready market. Maize production has increased in the last two years with farmers harvesting more than 40 million bags annually. Agriculture officials estimate a similar quantity this year. Kenya Farmers Association Director Kip Kurir Menjo said the government should put in place policies that will bring down costs of production locally. Menjo said lower costs would help farmers compete with those in Uganda and Tanzania by pricing their products lower but making profits. He's seen as both a liberal and progressive judge based on his decisions. His decisions on the retirement age of judges' case, Maina Kiai KWS versus RVA Contractor Limited on human wildlife conflict compensation, shows this. One who does not believe in the death sentence concept, which promotes Hammurabi's code. Hammurabi is retaliatory justice and eye for an eye. This is Judge William Ouko, who was on Wednesday nominated as a Supreme Court judge. During his interview, Ouko said the issue of tribalism is a dangerous disease affecting the nation, which even the Judicial Service Commission suffers from. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. You can also get more on The Star website.